Hey everybody, how you doing? It's been a little while, eh? I've been super busy working on this game that I've been building and uh, I finally get a couple minutes to sit around and work on my channel. So, we'll jump back into Scum because I was having so much fun last time. I want to see what's going on and kill some zombies. <laughs> and see what else they've done to the server. So we're way, way up another one. So I'm not very familiar with the uh, top of the mountains, like the observatory. I've been in here before. Um, so I ran all the way up here um, to see what's going on. Um, now I don't know, I do know that they made the zombies a lot stronger. So they're basically three, four hits, and you're a dead man. So we got to go really, really careful. Kind of excited tonight because I just came back from the vendor and I bought a whole bunch of ammunition for my Japanese Kruger. Um, and I'm really excited to try it. I got a bunch of clips and some ammunition. I bought a bunch of arrows. And um, I'm just running around to see what I can find and I haven't been up here for so long I didn't even know the observatory was here I just sort of ran into it so I started recording and we'll see where we're gonna go let's just do a bit of adventure and see what we can do I've killed a few zombies I found a few things so I hit the record button and let's go from here and see what we can find now last time we weren't getting very much loot. It was kind of shitty, right? Um, this time I'm hoping we can get some, at least some half decent loot. And I hear that um, there's another castle up here. Now, I have been to a castle up here, but I think there's two castles, right? So I can't remember which one I was at. I haven't gone back far enough into my videos to see where I was, but we're gonna go to one uh, that's pretty high up on the mountain, so I think I've memorized the route. I don't want to use the map too much, maybe just once, and um, see what I can find. And um, what do I see? I see a truck. <laughs> Should I steal this truck? <laughs> I've got three vehicles now, and I stole it every one. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess I got four vehicles now. When I logged in today, I went down to my little camp, and all the vehicles are still sitting there. So, the people that work on this server obviously don't care that I do this. So, anyway, there's some new members on the server, so it will be opening up to you guys. Uh, you can come in and try it pretty soon, I presume. And um, then we can all hang out together and you guys can help me get into some of the dungeons. So another pickup truck, huh? Cause, so we gotta find our way to a dam and then across the dam. Ran into this little town here. Just see if we can pick up another gun. There's a little general store or something in here. I, every town has one of those little general stores. So there it is right down there. A little like kind of 7-Eleven style store. So we'll go in there. There's a zombie. I'm freaked right out because like they literally made it. So three hits kill you. And I don't want to die and lose all my stuff because then I'd have to run all the way back and try to get my stuff. I think. I, I don't know. I know that's not permadeath anymore. So um, this server, that's not on there. Um, but you do have to run back and get your crap. And some of it you lose for good, I think. I would hate to do that. So we're running a pretty good loadout. We got my shotgun, we got the Kruger 22, um, some arrows. I'm not carrying a bow. I'll pick up a bow as I go because they seem to drop around 
a lot, quite a bit in this game. And I've got a samurai. Um, that is pretty worn out. I think it's going to break on me in this video if we run into any kind of serious fighting. I think I got about six or seven zombies left in it. So we'll burn that thing off. Um, and because I've got a couple more in storage, so I'm not going to worry about fixing just one all the time. We got some bullets. And I'll definitely take that apple. Let's eat that apple. I think I should eat that apple. So that zombie's getting pretty close. Oh, well, there he goes. Wonder where he's going. Is he uh, kind of stuck inside that enclosure and can't get out? There's a fence there or something. Anyways, I'm not going to push my luck with zombies today very often. I don't want to get hit and killed. Although, that is part of the game. And, it's PvP night. So, I don't want to make a lot of noise if I don't have to. So, I did kind of bitch a little bit. I said, hey man, there's not a lot of loot happening. Can we get the loot loosened up here a little bit here? And... Last time I bitched, they gave us a break. So let's see what happens tonight. We've already gained a truck. <laughs> we'll take a look in a little bit and see what's inside that truck. So let's run up here. It doesn't even like excite me when I find a vehicle to steal anymore because these guys leave them laying all over the place. And I think what it is is they just randomly spawn vehicles and park them and just leave them for us and they put stuff inside them it's a really cool thing to do because it's a really hard server to work on so if you run into a truck it's probably got supplies in it okay let's get out of here my driving's getting better my truck starts right away now I hate it when you're trying to start it and it's going and going and going and you get your brains clubbed out when you're sitting inside the truck. wonder if I should. Yeah, we'll go in there real careful like. There's two buildings. Are these new buildings? I haven't seen that style of building in the game. Like these two little sheds. Little barns or whatever they are. I'm looking really careful because... They put the mechs back in the game. Um, they raised the zombie damage. Um, and I don't know about what's going on with the wild animals. So I'm looking around for wolves and bears. Because they don't really give you an, much of a notice when they come to get you, right? The bear just shows up and runs at you. And uh, the wolves, well, you kind of know if the wolves are around because they'll howl. And all afternoon, I've been running around up here. I haven't heard of one wolf. I've seen a couple of bears, though. kind of cold to be sleeping on that mattress but if you gotta survive you gotta survive right Yeah, I've never seen this building before. This is new. Uh, I don't want it. Last time I clicked on one of those barrels, I got about 50 um, grapes. I didn't need 50 grapes. This is a nice little um, 
building. You can make a pretty good little base out of this for a small base. Which reminds me, I gotta really start working on my crafting. I've been exploring so much because I haven't even done 50% of the map yet. I don't even know half the places that I'm going to. It's still pretty cool to explore in this game. Hey, I was gonna ask, how many of you guys are actually gardening in this game? Like, have you set up plots of land and started irrigating and gardening? I'm wondering what it's like. Money? Give me money. So people that don't place gum, garbage cans and garbage piles and registers, cash registers and stores, you get cash out of them. And dead zombies. Kill zombies and you get cash sometimes. I do not want the pumpkin. That bed is gross. Those are good, good money. So I spent a ton of money. I have a whole bunch in the bank and I carry, I got about, I got a, maybe a grand or something on me. And um, I gotta start selling again. Build up my cash reserves. And I haven't died in this character for a long time and he's getting um, a little stronger. So what I got to do is I got to concentrate on him, make him carry piles of weight around and run a lot and build up his muscles, uh, feed him really good food and make him super strong. And you could do that in this game. Okay, I have faint memories of this area right here, or some place very familiar, like kind of the same as this place, and I got killed here. That was a long time ago, that was like two years ago, so that was when the game was fairly new, so let's check it out, hopefully I won't get killed. So I hear there's some brand new mechs in the game, they look really cool and stuff, so maybe we'll go check out. A mech. Hopefully he doesn't blow me to bits. Sharpening stone. So down by the lake, I think there's a house or sh um, like a dock, like a house dock for boats. We'll go check it out. Maybe there's a boat down there. We can go for a spin on the lake. So when I play scum, I don't really make a plan. I just go out exploring. Um, when I get really familiar with the entire island, and have checked out every little nook and cranny, I'll start really heavy duty crafting and doing stuff like that. But this game is like a serious lifer game. You, like you start playing Scum, you probably play it for 10 years. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of really cool new stuff coming up. So that would be pretty cool. A couple of things that they have for sale for scum I have to go buy those to try to support these guys well there is a boat here but not the kind that you can use it's too bad I would wouldn't mind going for a spin but then I don't have any gas I'd have to row it no zombies laying around dead So 
So the loot's been kind of shite again. That looks incredible though. The lake and the way the water is done. So still. I went way up in the mountains um, camping one time and the guy I was with, he's like a, this Bigfoot researcher guy. And um, I've never really decided on Bigfoot. But anyways, um, we were on a lake and it was literally at the top of these mountains um, in the Rockies. Uh, so we went up to BC, British Columbia, and then we went into the Rockies uh, way up in there. And that water was just like this, crystal clear and just like a um just like glass not a ripple in it it was really cool and it looked just like this at night just dark super quiet real spooky actually freaky freaky but beautiful you kind of get addicted to it so let's get the heck out of here before something eats me I'm trying to go as quiet as i can I don't want to start shooting everything. And I've been doing that for quite a while now. Um, and that's good because that, that builds up your stealthiness. Oh, there's a building up there. There's the truck. <laughs> Let's go check that out. quiet up here go to rest I'm looking for bears <laughs> Let's move up a little closer. Let's go pretty quiet right now because of zombies. Whoa. There's a mech in here. What's a mech doing in here? That's a mech. I haven't seen the brand new mechs. I heard that they're pretty freaking cool. And nasty. Very nasty. So let's... Take our time going up here. Playing in first person is the only real way to play this game. Although it's necessary sometimes to jump out the third, but you really should play this game in first person. It is so immersive. Whoa, I heard. There he is. <clears throat> we gotta get rid of him if we're gonna go into the compound. We're going to the compound really short period of time because I don't want to get my head blown off I'm not really prepared to go in there and go crazy but we will have a video where we're gonna do that we're gonna go around and just hit those bunkers I'm not gonna go into the bunker but we'll go and loot around the bunker and try to evade the mechs make for some pretty good fun for for an hour There's him, and I hear another one. Like, I'm not even crouching, and he doesn't even see me yet. So, my camouflage factor, or my stealth, must have went way up this afternoon. Because earlier, I couldn't walk up to them like that. They would detect me a lot sooner. So, let's try to get on this one down here and see how close we can get. And apparently if you get maxed out in your stealth and in your camouflage factor, you can almost walk right past the max. They don't see you. Which is really cool. But it's the boomers that I'm worried about. Like I'm worried about a boomer in there and then buggers can run and they don't stop chasing you.
I won't have a lot of time for this military base, but I will go in. We'll at least hit one tower. Try to do two, but if it gets too kind of hairy carry, I'm not going to because I want to make a decent video. I'm trying to get to that castle tonight. That's my main objective. But I'm still up for killing a couple of good zombies and checking out this uh, mech. See? Look how close I am. And I'm out in the open. I'm right here. Like, usually they can see you, right? I'm just standing here. So, my skill in my stealth must have went way up. And I'm not even trying. Like, I'm just sort of standing here. Uh, I should maybe wait a couple seconds. Let that mech do one more rotation. Run in there and kill that zombie. just okay he isn't turning okay so we got about 30 seconds here okay we'll get out we'll wait for him to come around again and we'll try to get in the tower without getting our heads blown off hopefully there's a gun up there something worthwhile there usually is in the towers but like I said loot loot hasn't been dropping on the server very much so and this is, um, if, if, if they've turned up damages that the NPCs can deal, this is hardcore server now. Super hardcore. Okay, let's get down. And get up there. There's always that... You feel like you're going slow. Oh yeah, there's a frickin' door on this thing. I kept forgetting. Right what did he say? Dehumaning in progress. Dehumaning? Dehumanizing? Dehumaning. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Basically, he's coming to kill me. Stay perfectly still. Don't move. Wow. Okay. Back in the day, that would have never flew, man. My character was not that good. So, my camo or my stealth must be pretty awesome. Okay, we gotta run like hell. Well, I'm not gonna be able to run like hell. I'm loaded down, so let's get out of here. Holy smokes, I was lucky there, man. Another thing I noticed, my guy can jump. Look at this. Watch this. Broke a leg. Okay, I think I'm safe. Bruised my leg a bit there, but... Okay, so those mechs are pretty damn cool, man. I like them mechs. They're, that's awesome. That's more like what I figured. The last mechs were pretty good too. I didn't mind them. But these look a little more evil. A little more sinister. And did they get rid of the other mechs? Or are they still around? I guess we'll find out one day. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I never knew that was up there. But this looks so familiar. I think I've been here a long time ago. They've changed it a little bit. Okay, so we're here. And we're going to go all the way around here, around the dam. I have been to the dam about two years ago. And I think the castle's right up there. And I'm, I think I have been to that castle, but not for like a long, long time. Okay, now we're on the dam going slow because usually there's zombies here or there should be zombies it's a main feature but this is a crazy server you don't know what you're gonna get from day to day so is this 
put up here. Be really careful. Be ready to fight. Um, I've stopped a few times between now and the last stop. I've stopped a bunch. I've killed about 35 zombies. They're starting to come in now and spawn in certain areas quite a bit. My, I've managed to kill them all with my sword, so I don't think my sword's going to last much longer. So then I'll have to start making noise or loot, hopefully, a bow, because i got lots of arrows. I love uh, exploring open world. I just love it. Nothing in the bathroom. I'm not looting a lot because I'm, I'm kind of only want to loot certain things. And I've gotten to know what is good money and what is not good money. So, only loot what you can make really good money on. Nothing on the roof. Look at this, eh? Holy crap, are we ever up there? That's like airplane height, man. That's crazy. Need to get something to eat. I guess we'll find out what's in the truck now. Get rid of. I haven't really looted very much, but we'll throw it inside the truck. I decided to save this. I'm not going to fix the Sam, my katana. I'm just going to allow it to. Have I been calling my sword a samurai? No. What a whack job. The katana, I'm not going to fix it because I've got three of them that I've looted and fixed, so I could afford to lose one, I guess. Oh, look at this. Well, that's a boost. That's awesome. Like I said, like this has happened two or three times before. Like I looted another vehicle, it was full of bullets. Full of nine millimeter bullets and clips and um, so I just had to go and find the gun or buy the gun. And this this one here, I've been throwing stuff in it, but I haven't really been opening it up. Um, this is my junk that I just looted just tonight. And this one's full of food. So that's kind of cool. I like that, that they do that in this server. That's pretty cool. And so far, the vehicles have just been in random places. You saw me steal. Uh, I don't know if you guys did see me steal the other two. I call it stealing, but now I'm beginning to think that you're not really stealing. They just are there for you. Which is really cool. I don't think I want to go down there. We're getting really close to the castle, so let's just push forward to the castle and then see what we can dig out of the castle. Try to get some decent loot. So what kind of loot would be up at the castle, I wonder? I'm gonna find out. So you go down here, there's a little town, apparently. Um, and then you turn before the little town, you go up the mountain. So there is the beginning of a little town, and there's a road going up. So I guess this is where we're supposed to go. I was at work today, and a guy at work was telling me how to get up here. So far, we've done good. We haven't really opened the map except for the one time, just to show you guys where I was going. So, yeah, not bad. It's fun to just explore and figure it out. truck is pulling pretty hard, but this is a pretty steep climb. I 
I'm sure it's easier to stay in the tracks, but it's difficult to do it. To, have, to navigate perfectly on the road. Okay, I think we found it. Oh, look at this. There's all like a village in here. You could make a zombie free camp up here if you wanted to fix up all these places. Build a community. But you'd be freezing your ass off. So, anyways, we're going to go into the towers. Um, so, the guy that sort of told me where to go and how to get up here, he said go into all the towers. And you should get some good weapons. And some armor style things. And then there's boxes and stuff kicking around. And that it. So let's see what we can dig out of here. Park the truck. Leave the door open. I closed. I used to close the door, and I got myself caught a couple times because they're chasing you. You're trying to get in the truck, right? So this is an old tower. We're going to go up this one first. And see what's up here. I'm not turning on my flashlights or anything like that. Headlights, no. I'm just going with the total natural look and feel of this game. I was looking up there to make sure there's not a zombie up there. <laughs> or a zombie. <laughs> I've been picking those things up like crazy lately. Ooh. Well, it's kind of cool. And a handmade sword. That's the uh, steel sword that you can just craft. But it's handy. It's nice that that's... I don't have to craft it at least. A bow. Nice. What else is there? I'll pick up the bow in a bit. There's arrows and everything here. I wasted all my money on arrows. I could have probably just waited. There's probably tons of them in here. Some medieval fortress. We'll do a couple of towers and then we'll come back and grab the loot. Like the bow. Put it in the truck. Yeah, we'll go down into that first tower. I gotta keep moving, um, or I'll freeze my ass off up here. Big lookout tower. Imagine the amount of work that went into a facility like this way back in the um, Middle Ages, right? Big job, big job. We're safe for now. So far, I haven't had any of them come down on the uh, nice. We'll grab that later. Uh, I haven't had any of them chase me up a ladder or climb through a window or open a door. Oh, are she up one more or is she the very next level up?
Goodbye. Nice. That's a 22 caliber handgun. Does the trick. Another helmet. I wonder if they're worth any money. I'd have to repair it. See if she's got some buckaroos on her. Nope. One more floor. Don't want them. I like the chests though, they look really cool. Those, if you were in Apocalypse, those chests would be worth gold to you. They'd be precious. Okay, let's go throw these in the truck and we'll grab the two bows and we'll hit the other towers up. So there's one, two towers, there's probably four. So it's one, two towers. And a few on the inside, further inside the fortress. And I'm gonna drive the truck up further too. Get rid of some dead weight. I got way too many shotgun shells. I should drop a bunch inside the truck. All right. Okay, let's grab the, the bows. Let's drop the rifle in here so we can carry a bow or two out. Grab the first one. Because even if I don't use them, what I would like to get my hands on would be a compound bow. But my guy's too weak to pull it, so... I don't know how long it would take him to get strong enough to pull it. But I definitely, uh, when I'm not making videos, I'm definitely going to be working on that. i got to get this guy stronger. There's a slot for it. We're good. Let's get out of here. This looks like a pretty good complex, actually. You get messed up in here if you're not careful. Okay, let's go grab that other one. The other one's a 50 pounder in worse shape, but I can fix it and sell it and keep the money. Get the money. So, how are you guys doing? I was away for a while, working really hard. I looked at uh, my channel, and I was like, holy crap, I haven't done anything for like a, a month. <laughs> so, let's try not to do that again. I just got so absorbed in what I was doing, I forgot to... Uh, time flew by. 
Time just flew. Not like I forgot or I'm giving up on the channel. It's just that the time flew by. I got a couple of other games I got to get caught up on too. Look at all that. That's cool, man. You could come up here with the, with your masonry skill. You could close all those in and use them as a really good um, like a base. You could you got to make a pretty good base out of this whole thing. But then the PVPers would come and blow it all up and wreck it on you. And that's another thing I'm watching out for is other players. There are four other players on the server. And I haven't seen them. I haven't heard any bullets flying around. So we've been doing pretty good. But if they're administrators, then they know exactly where I am. Did we do this one? Did we do this one? This tower? I can't remember. But I am ready to kill one and kill all. <laughs> nice. Well, we're not going to be out of ammo for arrows. Sure, pulling a lot of helmets. Medieval guardsman helmet. So they managed to make the game feel cold, like you're here and you just get the impression that it's freaking cold. And in other places you, you're warm, you get the impression that it's warm or hot. They did a good job on that. Okay so we're going to move the truck up into the compound. I don't have time tonight to go through every single building but we'll go through quite a few and loot everything we can and I'm keeping this stuff I don't think I'll sell this stuff I think I'm gonna keep it all I might sell one of the bows if I can get a compound bow then I'll sell the two longs and keep a 40 pounder uh, so I can get stronger and um, on the recurve build up my strength so I can use the compound up a bit this is good oh, oh. or here one I've also caught myself in being in spots for so darn long that they respawn <laughs> So it was one, two, I think it's four towers in here. see them I hear them so are they just strictly in the towers I wonder feeling a bit chilly slightly chilly at first I thought that was something taking a pee 
but it's that water. This is big in here. You can get turned around in here. When they built this, they worked pretty hard on it. This would make a fun PvP place. <laughs> this would make a lot of fun fighting dot people in here. Right down there is the fountain. Nothing up on the gang planks. There's a tower right here. Boxes. I'll, I'll nail those boxes on the way out. I love the natural look of everything. It looks phenomenal. Love it. Well, at least we're getting loot for most of the night I wasn't getting any loot I must have hit up 200 boxes 200 things never got one drop now things are starting to drop somebody up above me I think there's somebody up above me gets me every stinking time because they delay it and then you think oh it's not happening this time and you take off and then it hits you I heard another one like I'm not taking no chances with these zombies if they're hitting for like 75 to 80 percent of like if they're th if they're three hit kills I'm not taking a chance so I'm moving pretty cautious now I'm trying to be as quiet as I can so far, I haven't even got close to being hit, which is good. Nothing. I don't know why I even look at them anymore. It's my first time in here, you know, guys, like, so if you don't hear me talking very much, it's because I'm really watching out for these zombies. <laughs> so you guys have been all right out there, man? Everything been going good? I hope it has been. It's been going pretty good for us, and I hear, I hear one of our friends. We must dispose of that guy. I'm here. He's up in top floor of this tower, I bet. 
Yep, let's go up. Let's go up and get him. Well, this one's hard to see. More overgrowth. That sword's probably going to break soon. Or I'll drop it by accident. It's just my style. Another helmet. I sure got a crap load of helmets today. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Looks spooky as hell in the dark, right? Awesome! Yes. Let's drop. Let's. We'll take that one over top of the other one. I can't even pull it, but I'll take it. We'll have to come back and get that recurve. There you are. Oh, you ran off. Damn. Shoot him through the wall. Nice. For a 22, this thing does pretty good, man. I forget how many rounds are in it. 10? 9? Got to keep track of that. And another helmet. Oh, and fishing things. I'll take those for sure. Make your own food. I am looking forward to cooking. Has this guy got any money on him? Nope. Another sword. He didn't have that on him, did he? That's one of those handheld ones, right? Like the homemade ones that you can make. I'll just carry it. Now this was a good thing that they changed. You don't drop the weapon when you're going up and down ladders. That's that was really cool of them because before uh, you always had to unarm yourself and go back up and get it. Pain in the butt. We'll have to come back for that bow in a minute. Good old scum, man. I think that we're going to be playing this game for pff, 15 years. They're making good money. People are still buying it. they got a pretty good um, community, I think. And it's still growing. Another game that's like that is Generation Zero. Generation Zero like, has almost 5 million people playing it. That's a lot of people. <laughs> so that's that tower. I think there's two more towers in here or one more we'll explore this quite a bit in here for the rest of the video because in scum the nighttime um, it lasts for a long time and I can see really good I don't need even my flashlight or anything but let's drop this shit off in my truck go back and grab that bow put it in the truck Hopefully we'll get out of here before everything starts to spawn in or wolves show up. I know wolves like to run around inside this. Inside all of the ruins, the wolves kind of hang around. I'm getting some good loot this time. Useful stuff too. Stuff I don't need to sell but I can use, right? Not just garbage. Like hats, t-shirts, panties. Past the peeing wall. Have we gone up here? Yeah, 
speed up this one. It's easy to forget where you've been and what you've done in a complex like this. So all these boxes and everything, we're going to hit these up before we leave the facility. Another helmet and some yoga pants. It keeps, it keeps, I keep putting the helmet on. I'm starting to get cold. You know what's really cool about this game? There's no music. So it's just like what it would be like. You're by yourself, complete solitude, completely freaked out. Everything's super quiet. Cool, I'll take that. I will check the barrels. Nothing. Perfect. What bird is that? Like, what kind of bird is that? Those statues really add to the foreboding coldness and evil feel to this whole thing. Okay, let's go up there. See what else we can get. Did I hear a zombie? Thought I heard a wheeze. I think there's one upstairs. Is there? I thought I saw something move upstairs. I thought I saw, yeah, there he is. Let's get out the, the Kruger. Let's get out the Kruger. I'm gonna tap the shoot in the dark here. I'm just hitting a board, I think. Ooh, blood fell down in my face. I don't know how many bullets were left in the in the mag, but I wasn't gonna screw around with it. Another bow? How many bows is that, man? Hmm. Should I try to carry it? I did leave that one behind in that other tower. Another pouch. So guys, come back in a couple of days. There's gonna be a video on here. I'm gonna show you one of the vehicles that you're gonna be able to use in my game. And it's a fully functional vehicle and you'll have to learn how to run it. It's a World War II Japanese Zero. And in my game, you're going to need it because, um, and there's going to be like other planes as well. So to, you can use them to attack other people's bases and stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you that. And uh, I might show you probably our riverboat. So you're going to need the boat. It's all zombies and crazy other crap going on. Real crazy, weird game. The survival, crafting, all that kind of stuff too. But I will be showing you that one prop and then later on I'll show you some buildings and I'll just keep you informed as I go along. I can't even pull this thing, see? I can't even pull it. This one I can. Okay, well let's loop this joint out. I think there's one more tower that I missed and um, we'll hit it on the way out. Let's just run over everything except the bottom houses along the bottom part there when you first come in. And then we'll just take off and that'll be the video. We'll get out of here. See, I got tons of grapes here. It happened to me once before. They feed you and they keep you hydrated.
This is pretty cool. I'm gonna check everything out here. See if we can find some more goodies before we leave. This is like a tourist place. There was a lot in here to take a look at. You could get turned around in here really easy. Okay, I'm gonna finish looting this place out. I think I got everything that I can get out of here pretty much, guys. And I'm gonna catch up with you down at my camp. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit down at my camp because I'm taking off right now. Okay, yeah, there really wasn't much up there. Much more. I got turned around for about a half an hour in there too, so it's a good thing I cut it off at that point. So we're just getting down to the bottom of the snowy part, coming into where it's out of the snow. We're going to head to my camp and we're going to call it a night. And I've been playing this game for about five hours tonight. <laughs> Um, and I'm pretty tired because I killed a lot of zombies. I broke my sword, uh, ran out of bullets. I got a few bullets left. Um, I didn't smash up the truck. And it's getting easier to drive the truck too, which is good. So we're just going to tear down the hill here. Um, park at my little camp. And uh, I'll see you on another one. I gotta, uh, I gotta get caught up with some other uh, survival games that I want to post on here as well. I got a couple more videos that I gotta work on. And any suggestions from you guys would be pretty cool. Like if you guys like standalone games, like Crisis or something from way back in the day, I got a whole slew of those games. You just let me know, and uh, I'll do I'll do a complete playthrough of them. Is that the main road? Yeah. Okay. Let's get up to the main. Up to, up to my camp and call it a night. The one thing about this game, the night time is stinking long, man. And so are the days, I guess, but, man, what are they, two, three hours, two hours? I don't know how long the nights are, but they're stinking long time in this game. Sorry for the lag, that is server lag, um, because you have to be hooked up to the internet for this game to work. And that's it. I'm back at my camp, man. I survived. I didn't get killed. I had some pretty good loot. I got a lot of helmets now. Okay, guys, thanks for coming out for the video. Thank you for your subscriptions. And I'm sorry I took so long um, and getting out some more, but I'll try to speed it up for the next time, okay? So I'm going to take off, guys. You guys be careful. Be cool. Have patience with each other. And remember, karma is real. Try to do good, and a lot of good will come back at you. I'm going to take off for now, and I'll be back with another video pretty soon. Okay, see you later. Bye for now.